Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to some more Bloodborne. As you can see, we've got a new character to play with here. Going with a pretty straightforward Blood Tinge build. At this point, 40 Blood Tinge. And uh, slowly getting our Vit and Endurance leveled up as well. Uh, we're going to be wielding a Shikage and Rider Palash. Um, we basically don't have enough chunks to, to go any further on either one of those. Uh, as well as a repeating pistol and an Evelyn with a plus six. Uh, this is going to be the character that we end up taking into the Chalice Dungeons. Uh, we have beaten the uh, Bloodstar Beast in order to get the first Bumera Chalice. Uh, it requires pretty simple ingredients. The ritual blood you get in the same area of Old Yarn. Go ahead and conduct this ritual and we're going to dive in. Now, we did explore this specific uh, level of the dungeon on our first playthrough. Um, I think we might have gone through, like, the first floor of the Thumera Chalice, and then maybe the first floor of another chalice later. Uh, so, this is going to be a little bit of a repeat of things we did in our first playthrough, but after that, we're going to be uh, flying blind for the rest of these chalice dungeons. So, I do know... In this very first one, basically what we want to do is head up the ladder over there. We're going to get to a switch that is going to open up the door to a boss. Uh, additionally, for these first few dungeons, I think we're probably going to be a little overpowered for what we're doing here. You know, like one-shotting that guy. Uh, but eventually they're going to catch up to where we should be and start posing a pretty serious threat again. Uh, one of the uh, kind of criticisms of the game that I've definitely seen and can agree with is that it's a little hard to know like when you should be doing the Chalice Dungeon. Um, I suppose the only way you would keep to the proper... Did not get him in one hit. Uh, the only way you would really keep to the proper leveling would be every time you got a new Chalice uh, to immediately kind of drop everything in the story and pursue it until completion. Uh, until you can't go any farther in the chalices and then kind of pick back up with the main story until you got a new chalice and then doing that. Um, from my understanding of things now, I believe the... There he is. I believe the chalices themselves, uh, several of them are going to be found within other chalices. And then eventually, from experience with just playing the game, some of them are going to require me to uh, venture out and take on some of the optional bosses. Uh, like Amygdala, I think, uh, is going to be the source of one of them. Uh, Bretius uh, might be the source of another. That sort of thing. Um, there's a kind of an optional area down here. Let's go ahead and pop through it. Yeah, got a snatcher. Oh, who hits pretty hard. Yeah. Those guys could still be, I'd say, a little bit dangerous. Um, so, eventually we'll have to uh, try out some of the story quest stuff again in order to just get the next chalice. Uh, you see, I am using the Chicago. Um, used it a little bit in my first playthrough just because I thought it was pretty neat, but didn't really have a character designed around its use at all, uh, which is sort of the point of this one. Having a more or less dedicated blood tinge build means it is going to be putting out some pretty serious damage numbers. Uh, also means that our bullets from either the Evelyn or the repeating pistol uh, pack quite a punch, especially when coupled with something like Bone Marrow Ash. There are no cannon shots, but considering you only get like three cannon shots, they're uh, nothing to be ignored. Alright. A little bit of loot in there, mostly bullets and blood vials. 
Uh, we are playing with the new patch uh, that just went, went live earlier this week, uh, which affected blood vials and bullets in the way that the limit used to be 99 for both. It has since been increased to 600 for both as kind of a anti-frustration uh, mechanic so that you don't have to constantly be running back to buy more or stuff like that. And, and that's nice. Uh, I've never really seen it as a huge problem. Uh, I think they've also done some balancing to the Chalice Dungeons, and uh, that's going to be good for our purposes, especially. Uh, oh, yep, yep. I knew that he was going to do that. All right. So here is uh, the Undead Giant. We have seen this guy before. If I remember correctly, the first time we encountered him, he pretty summarily beat us down, and then we kind of took a break from him uh, at the point that we were just a character who had just beaten the Bloodstarved Beast, we ran around and did other stuff for quite a while, and then finally came back to him for the finish. Well, that really wasn't as damaging as I hoped it would have been. And, as you can see, He's not too tough for a character who's basically uh, at uh, in-game level. The flip side of that, of course, is that the reward for beating him is 1995 Soul Echoes, an Adept Blood Gemstone 3, and a Bloodstone Shard. Um, you know, I probably should have boxed all this stuff. Um... It was probably that one. I don't think I had a blunt and physical. Yeah, these look more familiar. Uh, so it was probably that right there. Blunt attack up 10.1. It's actually not bad. Um, we don't have a blunt weapon, so I don't think that's going to come into play much for us. But uh, on some weapons, it could definitely be the, the best gem you have. All right. And I think that's going to do it. Oh, this is the way we came in. I think that's going to do it for this floor. I'm pretty sure after this, we've just got an elevator down. And I don't think I ever went to the next floor on a previous character. So this should be brand new stuff coming up. Um, the Undead Giant, of course, is a boss that you don't see outside of the Chalice Dungeons. Yeah, there's Labyrinth Layer 2. Uh, so I'm pretty sure there are plenty more bosses that you do not see outside of the Chalice Dungeons to follow. We're going to go ahead and use this lantern as kind of a convenient stopping point for us. Uh, we'll wrap this episode up here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to more delving into uh, more and more difficult Chalice Dungeons as we go forward. Uh, if you did enjoy this episode, feel free to subscribe to see more episodes daily, uh, click the like button, or leave a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes, and I will catch you guys next time.